Well, good morning, Northridge. Welcome to our 20th day of Advent readings. This one is entitled, United in Joy. Let's read from God's word first from the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 61 verse 10 says this, I delight greatly in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God, for he has clothed me in garments of salvation and arrayed me in a robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom adorns his head like a priest and a bride adorns herself with jewels. I remember the day that I saw my wife at the back of the church getting ready to come down the aisle. Is there anything more exciting for a groom and for everybody in attendance than seeing the beauty of a bride on her wedding day. She is the picture of beauty and excitement for every person that has come to celebrate that day. We're captivated by weddings and at weddings a bride is the center of attention. Whether you're at a cousin or an uncle's ceremony, whether you're at the ceremony at England's royal wedding, doesn't really matter. Whatever the setting, the bride is the princess on that wedding day. Some little girls begin dreaming of that day as preschoolers twirling around in princess dresses or in their mother's oversized high heel shoes or dresses. There is beauty in the union of a bride and a groom and a purity in that moment. When the bride appears and walks down the aisle to her soon to be husband, a wedding is one of the most joyous celebrations that we can have or experience on this earth. And it's the one that the Bible compares our relationship with Jesus Christ to. Isaiah says that God has clothed us like a bride or groom, fixing us up on our finest through his salvation and his restoration. He has given us a reason, a reason to experience joy, just like a wedding day. Jesus compared himself to a bridegroom when he taught on earth. John used the imagery when he described Christ's return in Revelation 19 verse 7, which reads like this. Let us rejoice and be glad and give him all the glory. For the wedding of the Lamb has come and the bride has made herself ready. So when we think ahead to our eventual union with Jesus Christ, we can find joy in the celebration of all that that represents. Instead of sorrow, instead of pain or death, there will be joy, there will be wholeness, and there will be life. When we remember the significance of Jesus' birth and our first encounter, our encounters with him, we can experience joy that flows from his perfect and his unconditional love. I leave you and I leave myself with these two questions. Number one, what memories of your relationship with Jesus brings you joy? What moment or moments? And what do you imagine the wedding day of Jesus and his followers will someday be like? Good questions. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love and your grace and your care. We thank you, Lord, that we have a capacity to choose joy today and choose the joy that comes with seeing you face to face one day. Help us, Lord, to look forward with anticipation to that day. And as we approach the manger, may that anticipation grow even more and may our joy grow ever more. We leave ourselves in your care. We know that you love us. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day.